what's going on guys welcome back to the channel first and foremost and in this video we've got a kind of an interesting one um i'm not typically one or at least i haven't really spent much time with pure perfume oils and uh i had a company called okja reach out to me recently i've seen them before i've seen posts from other people on Instagram and places like that before, but I never really heavily looked into them myself. And they reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in checking out some of their fragrances and their pure perfume oils. Checked the website out, absolutely. Picked a few fragrances, had them send me some random uh, pure perfume oils. And uh, I'm actually pretty excited about this. They're very affordable. Their fragrances go for $39.95 before the discount code that's down in the description for you guys. So I haven't opened anything and sprayed anything. I figured we'll go through this stuff together. So uh, yeah, let's check them out. Stay tuned. So a little quick rundown of their boxes, as you can see here, Okja with their logo. Nothing anywhere else on the box, but they are magnetic flip top boxes, flip closures, you know. Some information. If I get it to focus, that would just be stellar, right? Don't know why it doesn't want to focus. No, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. Welcome to our world of fragrances. We handcraft our fragrances using premium perfume extracts from across the world. Each fragrance is a unique sensory experience that will leave a lasting impression wherever you go. Tantalize your senses and capture every moment with the perfect fragrance. So this first one, it's called Dream Fuel. It's one of their originals. Decent bit of weight to the bottles. Label in the front, name of the fragrance. Okja is actually raised off of the glass caps click into place i oh, know it just holds really strong doesn't click i assumed it clicked because it's so sturdy so i do have the notes right here i'll place them on the screen so like i said dreamwoods dream fuel is one of their originals so it says interrupt the arabian cool summer nights with the exotic scents of rose patchouli and mandarin musk vanilla jasmine a sign of nobility Runs through the mosaic tiles of the Grand Royal Palace, profusing your mind and forming itself into an elixir to fuel your dreams. Fragrance notes of rose, berry, oud, ambergris, patchouli, vanilla, musk, jasmine, and mandarin. Clean, vegan, and cruelty-free. Paraben-free, no phthalate, and of course handcrafted. Okay, let's uh, let me grab some test strips. Because I got a lot to go on. I want to save my skin for the perfume oils. Because they're, I believe, roll ons. So, let's see what we're working with here. The berry note interests me the most. I don't know if it's like a red berry or, or what. We'll see. Oh, it is very fruity. It does have a berry, wild berry type of smell. A little bit of rose and patchouli earthiness. A little jammy rose and a little earthy patchouli. Not extremely musky or anything like that. The rose definitely outweighs the jasmine. There's jasmine in here, right? Yeah, vanilla. Okay, I smell vanilla. I don't really get any mandarin, though. The orange. I don't get much of that. This actually strikes me as quite unisex. This has kind of a almost mesmerizing type of aroma. There's an intoxicating type of trait to it. Definitely smells nice and clean, I have to say. Doesn't come across sharp or synthetic in any way. It's quite pleasurable to smell. Very sensual. Sensual is better than intoxicating. This is a sensual aroma. Dream Fuel. Soft, creamy. The, the rose here is a little on the jammy side. Like I said, the patchouli... It's probably what's making it creamy, the mix with the vanilla. And it's not too much vanilla. It's definitely a creamier type of vanilla, though. This is actually quite lovely. 
Very unisex, like I said. Very unisex. Doesn't come across as masculine. If anything, may lean a little feminine, but not much. Patchouli kind of keeps it grounded from leaning too feminine. This is quite lovely. I'm glad I went with some of their originals. Because there's tons of ways to get clones. Don't get me wrong. But there's not always tons of places to get nice handcrafted original aromas. I really like this. If I had to throw... I'll, we'll do ratings at the end. We'll throw ratings on at the end. This is nice though. Next, let's see what we have in box number two. Show you guys first. Sinful. All right. Okay, I pulled up the notes for Sinful as well. Same exact presentation. Box out the way. Here we go. Label says Sinful. Same bottle design. All that good jazz. Grab a test strip. Let's see what we're talking about here. Two good sprays. So Sinful Ambition Spur from the Seductive Cherry Trees strewn throughout the palace dripping from wow potent cherry I'm, it's not even close to my face dripping from the clouds cherry liqueur and bitter almond permeate the laden air the palace flower garden of turkish rose jasmine and tonka bean circulate and entice the cherry syrup essence essence hung among the white marble halls top notes of cherry cherry liqueur and bitter almond heart notes of cherry syrup Turkish Rose, Jasmine, Sambak, base notes of Peru Balsam, so it's going to be a little balmy and thick and creamy, Roasted Tonka Bean, Sandalwood, Vetiver, and Clearwood. I believe this is another original, but it's very thick cherry. Cherry syrup in the heart. I think that's what's really making it pop here. There's three different types of cherry notes. This is super fruity sweet. Extremely unisex. This is more on the feminine side, though. Cherry almond. I don't really get Guerlain Lom Ideal EDP vibes because I know when people hear cherry and almond, they probably think, I know that's what I would think at first. Not really the case here. This is a lot of cherry. A lot. Of, very, very cherry dominant. This is very cherry sweet. I could see this being polarizing, adored by some and hated by others. Because you got to really like cherry. It's a, it's a bomb of cherry. It's cherry bomb. This is nice, though. This is very playful. Very, very playful fragrance. Casual. Evening out with friends. I see more of my wife wearing this than me, honestly. I think this is a little more feminine than I would want for myself personally. Does smell really nice, though. Just not something I want to walk around wearing and smelling on myself all day. In the trail in my wife's sillage, yes, I can see myself enjoying this, just getting hits of it randomly versus smelling it nonstop. Very cherry dominant. The almond here is more creamy than bitter, I find. Is there any sandalwood? Yes, there's sandalwood. So that's adding to this creaminess. The peru balsam, that's going to add to the creaminess. It's extremely creamy and thick, syrupy, sweet cherry. It's like a cherry, like the cherry syrup note. I would have thought it was syrupy sweet, even if it didn't say that was the one of the heart notes. And I bet this is a beast because it's strong off of the paper. Very sweet, thick, syrupy cherry, creamy, very creamy woods. Dynamic yet simplistic. Like there's layers to it, but it doesn't come across very complex. At the same time. That's why I say it's a, a dynamic scent profile. But more on the simplistic side for being dynamic. It's very robust. That's a good word for this aroma too. It's thick. Very thick smell. I like it though. More for my wife. Last, we have Gold Gem. I want to say this was one of the clones. Let's pull up the notes real quick. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, on top of Grand Mountains, African marigolds blossom under the golden sunrise. As the breeze washes over you, you breathe in the smell of nearby lemon trees and jasmine petals. 
black amber stones and musk mark the trail to Moroccan cedar woods. Hmm. Top notes of bergamot, lemon, neroli, African marigold, and buchu, which I don't know what that smells like. Heart notes of violet, jasmine, petals, and cyclamen. That's interesting, a little more of an aquatic flower type of feel. Base notes of black amber, musk, vetiver, and Moroccan cedar wood. Okay, this one's an intriguing note breakdown. This strikes me as probably the classiest of the three, just based off of this note breakdown. But let's see. You can't be certain until you smell. And obviously, the test strips don't always tell the full story at will on skin. It's just there's a lot to go through in this video. That's why I didn't want to do it on skin. Ooh, this is nice. This is the one. This is the one I would wear on a daily basis. This is a daily wear fragrance. A lot of fresh citrus. Not too juicy. Almost mouth-watering. Not quite. But it's definitely lightly juicy. Very fresh. Has a little bit of a watery appeal to it. Light floral tone. The violet kind of jumps out. The violet in here. Yes, violet, jasmine, petals, and cyclamen. That cyclamen's probably helping give that light watery feel that I'm getting. This is nice. This is really nice. Yeah, this is the one. I like this one a lot. The other two are nice, but very specific. Like um, Sinful, something for my wife to wear. Dream Fuel, very specific situations. I'm trying to, I was trying to pinpoint in my head when I would want to wear it, whereas this is something you can just grab and go. This will work well on a day off going have lunch. This will work well as a office scent, a work scent. Daily wear type of stuff. Going to dinner, this is a slightly refined type of feel not the sexiest of scent profiles but you know elegant a little bit classier but not too serious very versatile fragrance i like this one this is the one for me for sure gold gem yeah that cyclamen's at gotta be what's adding it because it's got this different watery floral tone to it now that this it's kind of settling in and getting a little bit of the heart notes to come out a bit more this is very lovely. This is a lovely fragrance. This is the one I would recommend you guys check out if you're looking for a versatile scent. That doesn't necessarily smell like everything else because it's not often you see cyclamen in a fragrance these days. That was more of a 90s thing, if I remember correctly. Some, a lot of 90s fragrances had cyclamen. Fragrances like uh, Moschino Womo, stuff like that, had a dominant cyclamen note. And it's pretty dominant here on the paper. It's really standing out. That's why I say Moschino one more. It gives me a little bit of that vibe. Obviously, there's no kumquat and stuff like that. So it's not the same, but it stands out. It gives that vibe because of the cyclamen note. A little bit of violet supporting it. Beautiful citrus. Watery. Not too woody. Light woodiness. A little creamy. It's probably the musk giving a little bit of a creaminess to it. The woods aren't overdone here. This one's really nice. This is the one for me for sure. So quick rating through the fragrances. Dream Fuel, based on the scent profile and the situational awareness for this, this is one that I would have to go with a 6.5 out of 10, better than good because of the quality and the originality of the blend. But I don't know too many situations where I would want to wear this scent profile. It's very, very sensual, smooth, relaxing type of aroma but it's better than good it's a 6.5 out of 10 sinful this is it might be in the realm of tom ford's lost cherry now that it's settling in more it's lovely it's creamy sweet thick syrupy cherry this is a 7 out of 10. This is really good, but this is one I would want my wife to wear. I'm going to have to get her to check this one out. I think she'd really like this. This is very playful. Nothing serious here. This is a little bit of a show out, but it's not something I would wear to a serious gathering, an event, or even to dinner. 
Um, but I could see her wanting to wear this when we're out and about. Because like I said, it's more casual and playful in my opinion. But it's I like it more than Dream Fuel, believe it or not. So Sinful is a 7 out of 10. Then last but not least is Gold Gem. This is the one for me. I like this. This has a little bit of a uniqueness to it. Because like I said, the Cyclamen really stands out to me. And that's just not something you smell in too many fragrances these days. I really like this one. This is a 7.5 out of 10. This is very good. This is very good. This is the one I would recommend, fellas, watching this. If you're looking for one that's not risque, it's not a daring scent. Versatile. Light uniqueness to it. Doesn't smell like everything else. Rides the line of casual and more serious and classy. Signature scent type of stuff. Seriously, this is very, very versatile. Multi-season. A lot of freshness. Still a little watery. A lot of backbone and body to it at the same time. Really jumping off the paper. Yeah, Gold Gem. 7.5 out of 10. Now, we checked out the fragrances. Let's check out the fragrance oils. I believe they're roll-ons. I didn't pick these. I said uh, men's and unisex scents. So it looks like I have... Their version of Sauvage, Aventus, Tobacco Vanille, Baccarat Rouge 540, and Santal 33. I can tell you guys right now, we're not going to bother with Santal 33 and Tobacco Vanille because I don't like Santal 33, I'll tell you right now. And I'm not the biggest fan of Tobacco Vanille, but I am curious about BR 550, Aventus, and Sauvage. That is the three that we are going to roll on here. So I guess, yeah, might as well start with... Uh, Aventus and see what it's all about. So here's the presentation on it. Pure perfume oil. Aventus, our impression of Creed. There you go. Packaged in Canada for external use only. 10 ml. Oilperfumery.com. All right. Roll ball. Wow, that rolls right away. Oh, wow. Smoky. Ooh, smoky Aventus. Roll a little bit more. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. It's high quality. That's why I say it's pretty damn good. The quality's there. And for a pure perfume oil, this stuff is really popping off my skin. This is smoky Aventus for sure. The pineapple's there. A little bit of apple. But a lot of blackcurrant birch. That tart fruitiness and deep dark smokiness. Oh, damn, this is good. I'm glad I started with this one. I am not going to be washing this off. I'm going to be enjoying this until I shower in a few hours. Damn, this is good. You know, a quality version of Aventus, whether it's real Aventus or just a quality clone of it, for me, never gets old. I have so many fragrances that smell like Aventus, and this is, this is a dead ringer for a smoky batch. little musky ambergris. I actually get a little bit of rose too. Damn, this is good. This is really good. We'll give these oils ratings too. This is enjoyable. Damn, and look, 10 ml will go a long way. I just rolled a little bit on my hand and it's, it's screaming off my skin. It's very, very thick aroma. Damn, I like this. I had other plans for my sin of the day tomorrow, and I think it might be this. I think I might be wearing the day this video goes live. I think this might be what I wear for the day. This is really, really good. I was expecting it to be, yeah, just, you know, it smells like a Ventus. Another one, this, this is really good. I want to roll this on more than I want to spray my 19S11 batch of Aventus, to be honest with you. Damn, that's good. Okay, now I got really high hopes for these other ones. Let's check out Sauvage. All right. We're going to roll that on the other hand. I'm very curious because Aventus was like great. was great. A lot of bergamot here. Not spot on. I actually have my EDT bottle of Sauvage always right here within arm's reach. Very, very sharp, 
sharp bergamot. I got to be honest with you. This is what's strange. It actually smells a little bit better quality than the actual freaking Sauvage. That's, that's kind of odd. That's kind of odd. It's not as, it's still metallic, but not quite as sharp. It might be because it's a pure perfume oil versus the EDT I was just sniffing. This is like super dense, clearly Sauvage, but very dense and thick. I mean, like I said, it's it's a pure oil concentration. It's pure oil, so that is some rich bergamot. It's like making a parfum version of the EDT, like not Dior Sauvage parfum, because Dior Sauvage parfum, they changed the formula. It's not the same fragrance. It's got olibanum and all this other stuff. It's sweeter. It's great fragrance, but this is literally taking... The note breakdown of the EDT, but making it in just, this is just a pure oil with no perfumer's alcohol. It's rich. That bitter green juicy bergamot. It's really, really juicy bergamot. It's not going away either. I'm actually very surprised. I'm impressed and surprised because I was, you know, you think, you see Sauvage, you're thinking it's going to smell just like one of the atomizing sprays. No, this is better. These perfume oils are great. I've been missing out because I've never been the roll-on pure oil type. I've been missing out. I just assumed that they didn't project at all, and this stuff is strong. Damn, this is good. Wow, I can't, I can't wait to check out BR540 now. I mean, where am I? God, Aventus is good. I got to figure out where I'm going to put this. Um... I guess it technically, I don't know which note breakdown it is. I don't know if it's the EDP's note breakdown or the x rates note breakdown. If it's sweeter, I would assume it's the x rates note breakdown. But I guess we'll just go right here on top of my arm. I'm excited because, look, this is three of my favorite scent DNAs ever. You know, I love Baccarat Rouge 540. I have so many versions of Baccarat Rouge 540. Oh, God, that's the EDP's note breakdown. It's got that crushed rubies, you know, like the crushed diamonds, crushed rubies, like how you envision that would smell. Damn, okay. That's giving Aventus a run for its money. Beautiful saffron. A lot of saffron. These perfume oils are the highlight of this video. Now I might want to check out Suntol 33 and Tobacco Vanille. These three, Sauvage, Aventus, and BR540, have sold me on pure perfume oil. Because they are spot on high quality and like the most dense version as far as aroma, thickness, and richness of these fragrances. Quality. Dense, thick, rich, powerful, and spot freaking on. I'm very impressed. I'm very, very impressed. God, Aventus is good. Oh, and that Ambroxan's coming out a little bit more. It's getting a little peppery, but still a lot of bergamot. God, they're all good. I'm almost at a loss for words because I wasn't expecting to like these as much as I do. Like, I was just like, yeah, I'll check them out. Like, I, I was tempted to say, I don't really like perfume oils. Don't even bother sending them. I'm so glad I didn't do that. I'm so glad I didn't do that. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. They're all so good. I can't even give them a rating, guys. Like 9.5s. I don't do 10s, so 9.5 across the board on these oils. They're better than the real bottles I have of these fragrances. Granted, I only have official, you know, sample decants of BR540 EDP and x but I have every concentration other than the Cool Spray of Sauvage. I have a 19S11 batch of Aventus and then 
almost everything Aventus under the sun. Most of it, anyways. I would say like 60 to 70% of what's out there that smells even remotely close to Aventus, I have. And these are the cream of the crop. These three perfume oils. I'm sorry I'm ranting, guys. I'm just so taken back. These perfume oils are the best I've smelled of each scent profile. This is the best version of Sauvage, better than Sauvage. This is the best Sauvage I've ever smelled. The best Aventus. Yeah, definitely. And Jesus, the BR540 is just so good. Look, I don't need crazy projection. It's all about sillage with me. Let it capture you when I walk by. I don't have to catch you from 10 feet away. Let me walk by you and within a few seconds of me walking by you get a whiff. I'm good. I'm more about sillage than projection. And this is going to have some serious sillage because it's such a thick aroma. I can only imagine taking one of these, rubbing behind the ears, behind the neck, and maybe on top the, the forearms closer to the, the elbow area. The kind of sea. I mean, I'm going to find out because tomorrow it's a toss up between Aventus and Baccarat Rouge 540. But I'm wearing one of these tomorrow. Whew. Well, guys, I was not expecting to like the oils way more than the fragrances. The fragrances were good to great, you know, especially Gold Gem. Gold Gem, this is a damn good fragrance right here. But I am sold on these perfume oils. These are so, so good, guys. Um, the discount code will work on oilperfumery.com as well because it's the same company. Make sure to put it there. So I'll have the link to both websites in the description with the discount code if you're interested in checking anything out. I don't know how many of you are into perfume oils. I, I was not expecting to rant and rave about perfume oils. For the love of God, this is not, that's not my, it's not my jam. It's not my cup of tea. I normally don't even bother with them but these are so good i implore you guys i don't know what variety of sizes they have let's look i'm curious so i would recommend the gift set so one of these gift sets is 74.95 before the 10 percent off code and they're 10 mls just like this you get five of them so they have a women's and they have a men's. They're $74.99. The men's comes with Baccarat Rouge 540, Creed Aventus, Baldafrit from Byredo, Armena Gildo Zania Indonesian Oud, and Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille for those spe that specific kit. They do have original scents available. And let's see, they even have some stuff on sale. If you just want to get one 10 ml, they range from 14 to 7. This is the first time I really dig into the website. They range from 14 to $17. They got amouages. I'm, I'm going to need to check out Epic Man. I need to get the perfume oil of Epic Man. I'm very excited about this stuff, guys. Um, I'll be dabbling into these perfume oils more. I might even have to start doing a few reviews on these. This is a segment I haven't dabbled in when it comes to fragrances. So I know this has become a rant towards the end of this video, so we're going to go ahead and cut it down. But check out oilperfumery.com. Use the discount code. Try one. Just pick one. Your favorite scent, pick one. Because these are three of my favorite scents, and I am super sold. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. Um, how many of you are into pure perfume oils? I, I had no idea. I had no idea it was this legit. And as far as Okja, telling you, Gold Gem, if you're looking for a slightly unique, versatile masculine fragrance, that's the way to go. And then a super cherry bomb would be sinful for your lady. That would be, I would say that's the two. two those two are better than Dream Fuel, their original. It's just... Sample first on those. Get some samples. Try some of this stuff if any of this interests you. But definitely check out these perfume oils. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of this stuff from oilperfumery.com or from Okja and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.